Now let me fill you in on the latest updates. The ongoing drama between Taraji and Oprah seems to be reaching new heights. The internet is abuzz with various rumors and theories surrounding their relationship. Speculations are swirling, suggesting that Taraji might be gearing up to file a lawsuit against Oprah, accusing her of blacklisting and intimidation. Taraji has reached a breaking point. Tired of shouldering the heat for bravely speaking out about being underpaid and mistreated, despite maintaining a composed public front, behind the scenes a bitter feud has been brewing. Oprah is reportedly upset, attributing Taraji's outspokenness to the perceived failure of the color purple at the box office. But Taraji is not one to back down. She's gearing up for a legal battle, prepared to take Oprah to court if necessary. This conflict has been unfolding for weeks, ever since Taraji disclosed that Oprah underpaid her for her role in The Color Purple. Unfortunately, negotiations haven't resulted in a fair compensation package and Taraji hasn't seen a raise since Proud Mary. It's disheartening to witness the injustice of working hard, being gracious, and yet receiving only a fraction of what one truly deserves. Taraji isn't just fighting for herself. She's taking a stand for those who will follow in her footsteps. Let's not forget that Taraji is a Golden Globe winner and an Oscar nominee, a testament to her talent and worth. Taraji also shed light on another troubling aspect of her experience. Oprah and the studio wanted actors to drive themselves to set every day. Taraji vehemently opposed this idea, rightly pointing out the inconvenience and insurance liability. These were rental cars and any damages incurred would be deducted from the actor's pockets. Taraji emphasized the need to fight for basic amenities like a driver or security. This isn't the first time a black actress has faced challenges while working with Oprah. Back in 2009, Monique spoke out during the promotion of Precious, a film co-produced by Oprah and Tyler Perry. Monique was paid a mere $1.50K for her role and wasn't offered additional compensation for the promotional run, despite the film's immense success. It's disheartening to witness such challenges faced by talented actresses but they are standing strong and speaking their truth. Let's hope for a future in the industry where everyone receives fair treatment and equal opportunities. So Monique finds herself in the middle of a press run storm. And guess what? Doing press runs was never part of the original contract. It's like diving into the deep end without knowing how to swim, right? Monique obviously said no to this unexpected twist, and that's when Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey decided to make it their mission to throw some major roadblocks in her career path. Talk about turning life upside down! The duo, Tyler and Oprah, took an unconventional approach to tarnish Monique's professional image. They started flooding the tabloids with narratives about her being difficult to work with. Imagine, just because she said no to something that wasn't even in the contract. It's like they declared open season on Monique, trying to keep directors and producers at arm's length by painting her as someone to steer clear of. Monique, being the powerhouse that she is, decided to set the record straight. When Lee Daniels claimed she had demands, Monique was left sitting there wondering, what demands? It turns out there were no demands at all, just a straightforward request from the movie studio. They wanted her to fly to France for the Cannes Film Festival. But life is complex, right? Monique had her own plans, juggling the Monique show, a comedy tour, and of course family life. Politely, she declined the offer, even when they tried to sweeten the deal with a hotel room upgrade. She stuck to her guns. When they called again, pressing on how to get her to France, her husband was like, is there a number associated with it? That's when the studio dropped the bomb. They don't pay for promotional gigs. Hold on to your hat because here's where it gets interesting. Monique spilled the tea that she was paid a mere $50,000 for her role in Precious. And you know what? It wasn't about the money. She took on the project for the love of it and her friend. Now the studio couldn't budge on paying for promotional activities, and Monique understood that. But then came the reports painting her as demanding and difficult. It's like they forgot it was a simple request and they were cool when the studio couldn't make it happen. As if that wasn't enough drama for one lifetime, there's more. They started spreading lies about Monique within the industry itself. Can you believe it? 
Monique later found out that Tyler Perry had badmouthed her to director David Tolbert, essentially trying to stop her from landing a gig. Tyler, in an attempt to convince her to promote the film for Oscar nominations, threw big numbers around $3 to $5 million for a nomination and $6 to $8 million if she won. But Monique, being the wise woman she is, questioned where in the world they paid those kinds of salaries for black women. And you know what she said? I cannot work for free, Tyler. She's done what she was supposed to do, and going overseas for free just wasn't on the agenda. Tyler Perry responds with his spill, talking about not believing in giving money away for free. Monique stands her ground, stating that she doesn't believe in working for free either. And just like that, they're on the same page. Teamwork, right? But here's the kicker. Monique struggled to land major film roles after that, relying heavily on her stand-up to put food on the table. It's like she faced some unintended consequences for simply sticking up for herself and what she believed in. Oprah and Tyler seem to have punished her for speaking out about being mistreated. Now, despite Monique consistently calling Oprah out over the years, demanding an apology, Oprah has remained tight-lipped. Fast forward to the present, and people are drawing parallels between Monique's experience and what Taraji is going through. When Taraji first spoke out, the PR team went into damage control mode. They wanted to avoid negative narratives, so Taraji ended up posting a photo praising Oprah as a beacon of light and being supportive. Oprah reciprocated with a post showering Taraji with praises and inviting her into sisterhood. But these posts didn't do much to change the narrative, and people started boycotting the movie. The film's numbers dropped from its projected $140 million to $55 million. Reports are swirling that Oprah is using her connections to blacklist Taraji. Unlike Monique, Taraji isn't planning to go on a spree of calling Oprah out in interviews. Instead, there are whispers of legal action to clear up the mess highlighting low pay and unfavorable working conditions. This situation is a mess, and if the rumors hold true, it could be a game changer for actors to speak out without fear of career repercussions. Now the streets are buzzing with opinions. Some are echoing Monique's sentiments, applauding Taraji for speaking out against injustice. There's a call for support within our own community, imagining what it would be like if Oprah supported actresses rather than joining in on this. It's a lot to process, and everyone's got something to say. What do you think about Taraji potentially suing Oprah? And do you believe this lawsuit might make Oprah back down? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to check out another intriguing video by clicking right here. This Hollywood drama never seems to disappoint.